I'm Karen Hole, and this is my colleague Zach Sahawi, and we're researchers at the University of California, Santa Cruz, and this is Juan Abel Rosales, who is our main research technician on the project from Costa Rica. We're here in Costa Rica, near the Panamanian border, and we work in this agricultural landscape, which is very typical of Central America. You can see a number of different land uses, such as pasture, coffee, and even a few remnants of forest. Increasingly, there's a lot of interest in these sorts of landscapes in doing forest restoration, and there are some big global commitments to try to restore hundreds of millions of hectares of forest in the tropics and elsewhere, because people are increasingly recognizing the important services those forests provide. Not only do they provide biodiversity, but they also help to sequester carbon, to supply water, and to prevent erosion. The question is, how do we restore these large areas of forest in a way even though we have limited resources. And so that's where the research that we do and many students and other colleagues who work with us do to try to come up with ways to restore forests practically at large scales. We started our research uh, over a decade ago now where we established 16 sites with three different treatments. Each treatment is 50 by 50 meters or a quarter hectare. We had uh, a plantation where we planted the entire area with four different species of trees, an island system or nuclei system where we used the same area, but instead of planting the entire system, we planted different uh, sized patches of trees. And then we had a control or an area where we didn't plant. This because we know that from some long-term studies that recovery can occur in tropical forests. So what we want to do is look at these three, compare these three different treatments to each other uh, and to a reference forest site, an area with mature forest, to see how fast our systems are recovering relative to reference forest and to each other. Our sites are spread across the landscape in about a hundred square kilometer area in southern Costa Rica from low to high forest cover, with the idea that sites that are near big patches of forest will have higher probabilities of visitation by seed dispersers such as birds and bats versus sites that are uh, very isolated and would likely recover slowly. We've monitored uh, a number of different variables uh, visitation by birds, uh, bats, seed dispersal, looking at the recruitment of seedlings, looking at soil nutrients and change of soil over time, looking at leaf litter, and we've used all of this to evaluate our study over time. We're here in one of our plantations, and you can see that after 12 years that there's quite a bit of growth of the trees and it shaded out the understory. And we have a lot of birds and bats that use these plots, and they bring in and they disperse seedlings like this one here. So there's a lot of forest trees that are establishing. The canopy at this point is about 15 to 18 meters tall here. But we also see that it's really homogeneous and there's these rows of trees, so it doesn't really look like a forest. Here we are in one of our control or natural regeneration plots. And you can see that there isn't that much forest recovery that has happened here. There's a few trees and in some sites there's a bunch of shrubs. But the birds and the bats don't like to come into the open areas and disperse seeds. And once the seedlings get here, then they have to compete with these aggressive grasses. So the recovery here seems to be a lot slower in comparison to our other restoration treatments. Here we are in the island treatment. Um, and as the camera pans across, you've got one row of islands going down this hillside here, uh, a small, large, and medium island. And then on this side, over here, we've got the same thing. Um, and what you can more or less make out here is a large island on my right here and then a medium island here um, and they've largely merged uh, into one big patch of trees and that's the idea that we were looking for with islands we planted about 20 percent of the area of the 50 by 50 meters here and today the range varies from 40 to 70 percent cover eventually this area in between here will also become part of the whole uh, island system and this is good in terms of recovery because it costs less to plant fewer trees. It's also a more natural, if you will, way of uh, uh, recovery because natural regeneration uh, occurs patchily, uh, much like the island system does. 
We're looking at a site that was planted 13 years ago and you can see how there's almost no cover. Now we see the canopy of the plantation on the left, then we see the variable canopy here in the middle and the natural regeneration which is shorter, and then we see the rough canopy of the islands here on the right. En general, y de acuerdo a resultados hasta hoy, podemos ver que ambas formas de sembrar son muy efectivas, tanto plantación como islas. Con la diferencia de que islas, por tener una forma diferente de sembrado, parece más desordenado o menos atractivo para la vista de los, de los dueños de, de las fincas, pero tenemos eh, en ella la diferencia que parece más un bosque natural y también es mucho menos el costo de, económico. It's only been about 12 to 14 years since we started the project and we're really excited that there's actually, we've seen lots of species of plants and animals that have colonized the plots. This is uh, good news because it means that we actually can restore forests. At the same time, the rate of recovery across sites varies a lot and we find that there are a number of forest species that haven't colonized yet and we don't know if they will. This means that we really need to continue to conserve the existing forest that we have so that we can conserve the full suite of the wide diversity of species in the tropics. We plan on continuing this project for as long as we can in uh, collaboration with uh, other researchers and, and students, in large part because some of the most interesting questions uh, can only be addressed at later stages in the recovery process. We're also very excited uh, to, to know that there are uh, similar projects being established both in Santander in Colombia and in the Mata Atlantida forest in Brazil, uh, and we really are curious to see whether this strategy works in other parts of the tropics.